What's up, guys? And of course, welcome back to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, which is really, of course, the Scarender. And of course, the Battle of Pokemon League is still going strong, and here we are. We want to use Yash, of course, this week, but of course, be in week seven. And his Slateport Veil, vale. and uh, while his roster is, of course, of 10 Pokemon, trust me when I say this, these were the six that made sense. I don't see a reason to go over. Uh, the other four, but I can tell you this you know, with uh, in mind. I can speak today for some freaking reason. Anyway, hey, and um, we're seeing a seismic who definitely can be as a possible stealth rock lead to get what was Neho Lego, who very well could of course set up toxic spikes. Not especially defensively scary, definitely especially defensively annoying enough to of course uh, deal well with uh, my Tabu Koku. Um, then I of course Sisor. Uh, Bandit set makes sense for this matchup, it really does. Uh, versus me, of course. And Kamo, uh, Dragon Dance is very, very nice. Of course, Dual Stab and possibly Earthquake. Shaman, um, possibly a speedier variant is what I'm expecting here with Earth Power Seed Flare. It does do well against my whole team, actually. And uh, last but not least is, of course, Latios. No, Latias, ha! Huh. And possible Defogger uh, could be very defensive. But my team here is definitely designed with these matchups in mind. So my first Pokemon is of course Tauros with Body Slam, Sen Headbutt, uh, Fire Blast and uh, Earthquake. Should be able to do super effective damage against his whole team uh, actually. Uh, the only Pokemon to take neutral damage from this of course Seismitoad and Latios or Latias but they are not necessarily dealing with Body Slams that well. Then of course Mega Pidgeot, Hurricane, Heat Wave, Roost and Hidden Power Ground. Uh, should be able to do well against the whole team too. Hurricane spamming is definitely a thing I will be aiming to do here. Uh, right period with of course leftovers, earthquake, stone edge, and then we have of course the likes of uh, was it stealth rocks and megahorn. Megahorn mainly for actually the Latias. Uh, then of course Alolan muck with fire blast, uh, pursuit, knockoff, and poison jab. Nothing to it. Deals well with both shaman and of course primarily. The Latias, who definitely can be pursued trapped with a low luck in mind. Uh, then Tabakoku would, of course, dual stab, Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, U turn, and of course, Hidden Power. No, Grass Knot. So Neho Lego there is probably the only Pokemon here we can definitely deal with it really well, as the Pokemon is definitely going to threaten me out. But other than that, Tabakoku should be able to KO his whole team. Sister is with Bullet Punch in mind. If it is bad, it could do around 40%, since I'm running Modest more defensively this time. And of course, Delphox would, of course, Life Orb and Fire Blast, Grass Knot, Psychic, or yeah, Psychic. No Psy Shock for Neho Lego, sorry. And last is Speed and Dazzling Gleam. Do super effective damage against the whole team, it's very speedy. And the first thing that comes to mind here against this matchup is that it's no Pokemon here who doesn't outspeed my offensive Pokemon. So that's a very, very good thing. I can offensively just run through this team. And I should really have no issue here. I definitely. Feel I have the matchup. Matchup is definitely my favor here, is what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, with all that, let's go into the game. So, predicting, of course, that Seismic Total lead, I am actually going to lead off with my Tauros, mainly because two body slams should be just about enough to KO a Seismic Toad. And, like I said there, I suspected him to go for Stealth Rock. So, Seismic Toad is actually going to switch out, which I felt really, really surprised about. I'm going to bring Kuro and I, which, of course, is the Scissor. And I say, of course, like, yeah. You know, that's, that feels really, really obvious, but <laughs> of course not. So anyway, Body Slam does a decent chunk here. Are we going to see leftovers? And this had me really relaxed, because this means the Body Slam, I was going to say, but Bullet Punch does not do too much damage to me. So I can just fire off a Court of Fire Blast and do as much damage as possible. As he's going to switch out to his Neha Lego. And, oh, oh, fair enough. I mean, I can still go for Earthquake. I'm still thinking, you know... Is he gonna switch in and out, back and forth, or is it gonna be a Scarf variant? If he is, is that gonna really do any damage? No, it's not a Scarf variant, and actually Earthquake does just kill it. So from the get-go here, Tauros just really, really brings the pressure. It is really, really obvious here that Tauros is a win con of a different caliber, as he's now gonna switch in Alex, which of course is his combo. I said, of course, it's the combo. Anyway, I felt that you know he's probably gonna go for Dragon Dance. I can just go for Sen Headbutt, get some massive amount of damage, um, and we do a massive amount of damage, but we actually don't do enough. And he goes for a substitute that barely makes that substitute, mind you. And I was feeling okay. I need to I need to do something different here. He's definitely gonna go for Dragon Dance this time, 
and I need our Pokemon that can take a hit and of course break this up as there is Dragon Dance and I was like no this could be dangerous and a bit too dangerous even too early on now I can definitely take a Skyboard Cut or a, a possible Dragon Claw so I felt safe staying in here go for Hurricane breaking this up uh, it is whether or not which Pokemon should be sacked for real afterwards Mega Pidgeot is such a big Pokemon for this game and I juggled back and forth which bomb this should be going away as of course it goes for Dragon Claw and as you guys will see it does a, or it does a lot but it's not too shabby and I can definitely take one of those again uh, but eventually here I do decide and probably against my better judgment actually to sack off my uh, poor poor I should say Mega Pidgeot who is just for this week we used for first time and it just freaking free falls like in two turns that's that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I mean, I was really, really debating whether or not I should sack Delphox. In hindsight, probably should have, as of course, I can send in Desotroya. And Desotroya is not easily KO by a simple, puny little, of course, combo. As it goes for Earthquake, uh, and it's actually, and I'm gonna say this, it's actually not 50% hit. So I would have been really safe sending in Rhyperior here. But then again, had I had a stab a scabber cut, that would have been a 2-hit KO, and then my situation would have been a lot rougher. But at the same time, I should definitely have bought for it, probably Earthquake over Skyhopper Cat here. Uh, I still didn't have any floaters on my team, so it still wouldn't have mattered as far as Pidgeot now is gone. And that could be a factor. I mean, not having a floater is definitely going to be annoying, as he's going to send in his Fiora, which of course is a shaman. And um, the only thing I was feeling here is that Delphox makes sense here. He's gonna go for his Seed Flare as Josh gonna read me really well and go directly for the Earth Power. But the Earth Power itself doesn't do too much to me. I mean, it's definitely a 2 hit KO, possibly. Uh, but with Life Orb, since I am that, uh, Fire Blast is definitely gonna take a toll on me. I'm actually not gonna KO here, which I was a bit surprised about. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I really thought I could, of course, KO Settle with Just Miss out on that. And of course, with life or damage now onto me I'll definitely be KO by the Shaman so we'll lose Delphox here too and uh, it starts to seem like he's getting his way back and that's that's not all right we, we need to bring Tauros back Tauros, Tauros need to go Tauros is the man here Tarision the legendary Pokemon that is not legendary fuck you Verizion, Gabillion and uh, Terrakion we have Tarision who's gonna body slam boom and that's Shaman out of the way Tauros actually is a rampaging still. I mean, there is so few Pokemon that come into this naturally. Now, Ersa is one of those. And I felt that, you know, I don't want to take a Dragon Hits here. Hell, I don't want to take anything. I'm just going to bring my, of course, monster that is Arshel, which, of course, is my Lola Muck, who easily can come into this as uh, he goes for Dragon Pulse. And it does as expected, which is not a lot. And I'm just going to go for a safe, safe pursuit. Now, one thing that does bother me here is that I didn't go for a knockoff. I could definitely have taken this opportunity to get some prior damage on the Seismitoad or Scissor who comes in here. Possibly score a poison on, of course, the God Toad who comes in here. So, sadly, we don't do that. And I say sadly because I was pretty sure I was going to live this Earthquake. Uh, because I thought it was a defensive, of course, uh, Seismitoad. But it actually just straight up Oko's me. Which means he's definitely invested in attack, and not only that, he probably, at this point I was thinking, it's probably the Rain Dance set. And if it is that, then we are kind of screwed. So I'm just going to send in Tauros, get the prior damage I so desperately needed, as uh, he's going to send in, of course, his um, Scissor. And I just go directly for Body Slam again. And does a really, really good chunk of damage still, but I need to go for, of course, the Flamethrower or Fire Blast here to get him done with and <laughs> I don't know what to say anyway he goes for bullet punch and as stated before as we've already seen the leftovers we know bullet punch won't necessarily do all that much but we do miss the fire blast but it's alright we can still take another one and we definitely will KO this is with a fire blast so it's it still is okay but still not I mean I, I definitely leave out for the force being more uh, being more of the survivability onto me uh, now here's the thing um, we do connect the Power Blast, which is great, but we've already established that, uh, of course, um, Ladias, since it survived, of course, the, the Pursuit, which basically means it's a more defensive set, which means Body Slam, while it could KO from this range, I'm not going to take a gamble on this, and it's not like Rhyperior itself is going to do anything against the Seismitoad, really. So what I need to do is send in this with Troya, basically lose him, and then make sure that I have Tabu Koku as my last Pokémon, so he cannot set up a Rain Dance. 
Uh, or if he can set up a rain dance, then possibly. Uh, actually, why? How did Rhyperior survive that hit? That's Rhyperior's man. I actually forgot about that. That's that's actually kind of incredible. I, <laughs> how about that? Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, the only thing I can do now, outside of course the lagging that is so present here, is that I, like I said, I need to uh, get my um, Tabu Koko in freely and uh, safely go for, of course, that grass knot. That was a lot of lag. I'm really sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so anyway, Tapu Koko or Rain Brown, of course, is going to come in. And um, I'm just going to go directly for, of course, the, um, the Dazzling Gleam here to definitely shoot KO. But I'm, I feel like highly unlikely that he's going to switch out. So uh, go for Dazzling Gleam. It's going to KO. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. That's S out of the way. Actually, it must have been defensively considered, of course. The Dazzling Gleam really, really just straight out killed it here. So his last Pokemon is Seismic Toad, and we are really safe here. We got, of course, both Tauros and Tabu Koku. What could possibly go wrong if, of course, the Seismic Toad is not Scarfed? And that pretty much means we lose. Like, I watched through this game uh, three times now, and I still can't believe I lost. Like, I'm <laughs> looking at this game, like, there are nothing indicating that the offensive momentum that I was transpiring and kept going with was gonna be changing ever, 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 ever. Like, establishing the size was offensive, fine. But Scarfed, not in a million years. Like, I could definitely say that, you know, we have played Josh with every other Pokemon throughout this Wi-Fi battle. We had no issue. Little did I know that he just kept his win con to, of course, survive until the very last turn. So why I can say that, you know, I definitely, overall, was a stronger player. He was definitely... And by far, and easily, the smarter between us two. So yeah, if I had to, of course, you know, establish, you know, what the hell went wrong. Um, or not went wrong, possibly. But of course, the sun headbutt situation against, of course, the Karmo. I definitely believe that had I just break the sub and then switched out, that I probably would have been in a better spot with Tauros and, of course, my other Pokemon. Also, sacking, of course, Delphox over, of course, Mega Pidgeot. Had I saved Mega Pidgeot to the last, he couldn't lock himself to, of course, Earthquake, which also would have meant it was worth the wrong Waterfall, which would definitely not have KO'd uh, Tabu Koku. I was so sure that this Pokemon was a Rindo Berry, so I was fearing that that could be a, a thing. I was going to go for Grass Knot, I was going to lose Tabu Koku, basically, was my thought process in the end, and then Tor is going to wrap it up with a Body Slam. <laughs> that, that didn't happen! <laughs> I don't know, I am so in... I, I'm like impressed at the same time as I am kind of disgusted. Uh, because here's the thing, and as stated before, I really, really believe I played overall the better game. I was definitely doing everything right. Uh, little did I know was that Josh was just sacking Pokemon to get the end matchup he wanted. And he got exactly what he wanted. And I'm the fool. <laughs> I'm the one that lost. And I'm like, why? I didn't... I did everything right, but still, no, I didn't. Um, I mean, my sack place was definitely off the hook, but I would never in a million years um, expect a Scarfed Seismic Toad. I, I would never have expected that, and that's, that kills me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to Josh, you know, awesome game, buddy. Um, in the end of the day, you win because you did the right plays. It doesn't matter how well overall I play the match if I can't wrap up like you did. You did exactly what needed to be done to win this game. So you win this game very fairly and uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is our fourth loss in a row, which really, really, really sucks. And the thing is here, it's not big losses. Against Verlis was 1-0. Against Josh, 1-0. Against Quill, 1-0. But, but I still lose. <laughs> and I want to win. I want to be the guy who wins, but yeah, 3 for 4 now, so we're gonna have to shift that one around. Next up is Shadow Shoe, and I can tell you right now, I'm gonna get myself another gear, because I really need to step up. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this battle, make sure to give a thumbs up for the God Toad, and never, ever, Seismic Toad is probably one of new, new hate objects, I'm just saying that right now. That's a disgusting pimple frog. Anyway guys, thank you, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, of course, take care.